This video is a BitGet copy trading guide. We're going to look at the spot copy trading in this video on the BitGet platform, how to navigate this system and some of the things to think of uh, if you want to actually go ahead and start copy trading. Timestamps for everything down below. We'll come to the spot copy trading platform on BitGet then. We can just go copy trading and spot copy trading. I'll leave a link to BitGet in the description as well. They often give deposit and sign up bonuses. You can check the details via that link. Uh, I also have a beginner's guide to the platform on getting set up, so I'll link that below. Now, what's the difference with copy trading where futures or spot is to be chosen. Futures are synthetic deriv derivatives of crypto. So they track crypto prices, but they aren't buying and selling crypto. And so with futures, you can use leverage, which means you can leverage up the capital that you have. That's obviously way more risky and it takes a lot more management. For beginners, they may trade spot because the money you put in to trade with, it's just there being traded with. There's no leverage and there's no risk with that. So, um, you know, beginners maybe can choose spot trading and go to futures. Anyway, I'll leave the futures video below. With spot trading, it's really very similar. You're just not using leverage. And so a lot of people don't want to use that and they can use spot. Now, as the platform goes, it's obviously very similar to the futures area as well, where you have traders here, and then you wanna to look to see which traders that you want to follow. What I would do is actually come down to all traders right here and then see how to um, search for them. What I wouldn't do is search by ROI or PL. Now, ROI is return on investment, PL is profit and loss. Uh, copy as PL is slightly different as well because we'll go through this in a second with PL. That's what the trader makes or loses, but copy as PL is going to be slightly different because you'll see that when you copy a trader, you can actually input many of the parameters yourself as well with a stop loss and a take profit. Um, and so your PL may not be exactly the same as the trader's PL. So what I would potentially do is look at the uh, the trader's PL. Uh, because that's the, the one we want to see to see if they're a good trader or not. Because the copier's PL, you know, the trader could make money, but if a copier um, doesn't uh, copy the trade exactly, they could either lose money or make more money. So it's a bit of a, a dirty metric, that one. Uh, in terms of ROI as well, this is a, a decent metric, but you have to look at ROI with AUM, which is assets under management. So ROI, return on investment. That can be uh, a metric that may seem very good, but when you dig down deeper, you'll see that maybe they only made a couple of trades and they got kind of lucky with a trade, which has made their PL very good in the short term, you know, but maybe they're not consistent. So what I would look at mostly first is AUM, assets under management. The traders with the most AUM have probably been around for a while and they have attracted a decent amount of capital to trade with them. And so with AUM, what you may see is the larger a account gets, the less percentage returns or ROI that they actually get. You know, you, you're probably trading um, higher uh, cryptos, right? So larger cryptos that obviously are going to move less. If you go down to very small AUM or traders that are trading very small altcoins, you may find some really high return on investments there, but maybe they got lucky with one coin. Maybe they don't have many people copying them. Uh, and so it's easier for them to get in and out. Uh, so that's something to be aware of. I think the best way to look at this is just go for AUM and see who's got the most capital um, and who's trading in a reliable way over the long term. You can dig deep into what each trader is trading, how often, and their trading style as well. So let's look at this one right here. So we're gonna click on this. They have a, a high amount of AUM or assets under management right here. And it gets actually pretty good because they tell you what type of trader they are. So as you can see, this trader is low frequency. Uh, so maybe they're not uh, day trading over maybe a few hours or so. We'll have a look at that though. Stable and long-term trades. So we can see what type of trades that they're actually going uh, into right here. So trading data, ROI 47%, so obviously pretty good. We'll look at all in three weeks. So you can see what are they doing over the short term and what have they done since uh, account inception. Now with copy trade pairs as well, we can actually see the cryptos that they're trading. So we can click into here and see they're trading a bunch of different cryptos. So we'll see what that strategy is. Now trading orders 29, accumulated followers 838. There are only 500 uh, people allowed to follow and copy this trader at one time. Um, but as you can see, there's been some turnover here and the total amount of accumulated followers is 838. Win rate 100%, well that's obviously pretty good. And AUM a decent amount here. So as we go down to the charts, what I would do, wanna do is just go to the longest period of time possible because 
over a day or so, you can't really see what the traders, you know, real win rate is. They've obviously started here and, you know, made a bunch of very good trades. Order type, as you can see, now we can see what they're trading. So uh, it looks to be like they're trading a bunch of Bitcoin and then uh, Atom and Aptos, Minna Protocol, Polkadot, you can see here. So some, some very good trades. Obviously, they've had a 100% win rate uh, and then the copy trades as well. So this is important because uh, copy traders may not make the exact same amount of money as the actual underlying trader because they have different parameters than the trader. So we'll get onto that. So this trader obviously has been successful and let's go down and see what they've actually traded. Again, I'll just put this to last month so we can see the type of trades. So Bitcoin is the most right here. Most people trade Bitcoin most often. Aptos, Atom, Polkadot, as you can see here, they made some very good profits in BTC. And over the last month, winning trades right here, you can see they actually keep their trades for quite a long time. This is actually quite good because with spot trading, it's not like futures trading. Futures trading is a lot more speculative and you're looking for very short, sharp movements. And, uh, you know, you can make some big gains. You can also make some very big losses very quickly. With spot trading, it's a little bit different where you are going to be holding those positions a lot longer than a futures trade on average. Not every time, but as you can see here, they do let the winners ride out. Um, they cut a few very early on, no real reason for that you can't see, but most of the time they're holding their positions for you know about a week to maybe a couple of weeks. Um, so they're definitely not a day trader. And as you can see at the top here, it says low frequency and stable. So that's definitely what this trader is, right? They're, they're you know picking a, a swing trade basically into the market. And so that's something that you may want to get exposure to or not. And as you can see the trading volume, they haven't really traded uh, over the last few days. They definitely went in very high volume here, which is when we had a big upswing in the crypto market. So they timed that very well. So you can see exactly what type of trader this is. And that's important as well when you choose traders, maybe you want a basket of traders, you don't just want one, you can actually get exposure to different types of trader and different types of strategy. We can go ahead and look at the copy trading screen then. There are a lot of settings here that you may want to familiarize yourself with. So the first thing is, Obviously we need a trader that has some free slots here. If there are no free slots, you'll have to wait for other traders to, you know, kind of uh, stop copying them and, and remove themselves for whatever reason. But this button here will either say copy now or alert me to when there are free slots. So if we choose this one as an example, this is the copy trading screen and it defaults to basic. There is an advanced mode, uh, which I'll go over in a second. Uh, so first thing we can do is, is uh, choose copy trading pairs. So if we press edit here, what you can do is just toggle off any assets that you really don't want to touch at all. Even if that trader uh, trades them, you won't copy their trades if you toggle them off. So, you know, as an example here, Lunacy, you know, it's a speculative coin and, you know, maybe you just don't want to touch it at all. Or some other ones, you know, some very small altcoins, maybe you just don't want anything to do with them. You can just toggle them off completely. Now that's why um, the PL of copiers is often completely different to the PL of traders themselves because the copiers are saying, I don't want to trade this and I want to trade with more or less. And so, as you can see, the PL for copiers and traders can be, can be completely different here. Um, so, when you're copying a trader, I suggest, uh, or you know, I think maybe just uh, open yourselves up to the trader. They know what they're doing. Uh, and so, you can open yourself up to it because if you're cutting your losses, early or you're trading assets that they aren't trading can have a very different performance to them anyway. Uh, now it says here margin mode. This isn't margin though. So if we go to transfer right here, you'll see that you are transferring assets into your spot account. So that beginner's guide goes through how to get assets on the platform and everything into your spot account. Um, so I've got some assets in my spot account already. It says margin mode, um, slightly misleading. You are just trading in the spot market here, so no leverage or anything, but you can uh, choose a fixed amount or a multiplier. That means of the traders uh, amount of trades, right? So you can say, I just want to trade $50 a trade and that's it. So each trade $50 comes out spot account goes into that trade. That may be very different to the amount that that trader is trading. And again, there may, there may be some trades that uh, they're more confident in that they actually put way more, um, you know, weight behind in terms of what they're trading. So that again can change your PL uh, dramatically. The percent will be the same, obviously, but what they're actually making nominal basis may be different. Um, but anyway, you can choose a fixed amount multiply here again from 0.1 to 20. So if they're trading $1,000, you can say, I want to trade 1,000, 2,000, 3x or whatever it is, right? So you can trade that. This again um, is 
okay to use but again you don't know how much nominal they're actually trading with so you know if you have a thousand dollar account or whatever um, you may actually just max out with one trade compared to what the size they're trading with so you know that's a decision for you to make maybe fixed amount is a little bit better now in terms of risk management as you can see here um, we can just see this drop down stop loss take profit and maximum follow amount so we can edit this what is a stop loss a stop loss is an order that essentially gets you out of a trade that you're losing in so let's say you're losing 10 percent um, and you're comfortable to lose 15 percent then that's fine but what you can do is say 15 percent is my stop loss now if you're losing 10 percent the trade is going to keep copying that trader as soon as it gets to 15 percent you will actually trade out because that's your stop loss. And so you'll actually take a 15% loss on that trade. The trader may hold the trade down to 20% as a loss, and then the trade may reverse and actually start making a profit or maybe a smaller loss. So again, if you're setting a stop loss that is different to the traders, you can have a different performance than them. But you can choose that as a fail safe to say, I really don't want to lose X percent. You know, that's when I really want to get out. Uh, now, in terms of a take profit as well, that's on the opposite side. If you're in a 10 percent profit and you say, hey, I want to take a 15 percent profit all the time. I'm happy with that. Then that's great. But if the trade is really confident and the crypto market can move 30 percent, you've cut your profits early. And again, your performance will be different than the traders in terms of a take profit here. Um, I have seen these before. I, I've done these before on copy trading with a stop loss. I've been stopped out a couple of times with stop losses that I've put in where the traders held on and then actually reversed the trade and actually made profits. And so um, you're kind of solidifying a loss with that stop loss, um, but you could have made a profit, but you can also lose more than that stop loss as well. So again, you just have to maybe decide, you know, where's your kind of max loss, right? Like 25% loss in a trade, you, you know, you should be getting out at that point anyway. So you can put that in and then the max follow amount per trade, you know, you can do that with the fixed amount. But if you're using a multiplier of theirs, um, you can say, I want to trade, you know, one for one with what they're doing, but with a maximum follow of $1,000 an order or whatever it is. So that maximum follow amount works if you're using the multiplier mode rather than the fixed amount mode. So you can choose that as is. Um, and then we'll go through next but we'll look at advanced mode first. Advanced mode is basically the same thing, but you can drill down to each asset individually. Um, so as you can see here on Bitcoin, you can say on BTC, this trader has a really good record. And so I want to trade a multiplier of theirs, which is you know 1.5 times on BTC. Uh, and then the edits right here, you know, we'll take a stop loss of 25%, take profit. We're not gonna take that, we'll, we'll go, go up to the trader. And I don't wanna trade more than you know $3,000 per trade or whatever. So so that's how you do it for BTC. Now with these others, you can say, I want to be a little bit less risk taking on BT on, on these others because they're more volatile, right? So with Bitcoin, you may actually say, if they get into Bitcoin, I'm, I'm kind of really bull bullish on it as well. So we'll get, be a bit more aggressive with that. But with the other assets, I'm not really sure. And so I don't want to go crazy in those. So you can really drill down to each asset uh, specifically on how you trade it as well. But again, each time you change a parameter, your performance is going to be very different to what the trader uh, gets with their performance. Once you're happy with all of the parameters set, we can just go down to next, either on a basic or advanced. So we'll click next here with an amount that we trade, and then it will just show you all of the parameters right here. Just click confirm, and then you start copying that trader. If that trader doesn't trade for five days, you will not copy anything. You will not be trading for five days. So it's only when they place trades opening and closing when they open you open and when they close you close and obviously take the profit or the loss there you can also see if you go to the trade and then spot trading you should be able to see all of your trades here so if we go to spot trading it's just going to take us through to the spot trading platform any trades that are open because that's what the trader is opened you will see them here in your order history and open orders so you can see all of the orders here. This will just be you opening the trade just like they did. You'll have this spot position right here. You can see the date, the time, the entry price, how much you have there, how much is tied up in the order. And also on the right hand corner, just below my head, uh, what you can do down here is if you want to get out of a trade, if you're in a profit or a loss and you think, actually, I'm done, I don't want to copy this anymore, I want to get out of this position, you can do that. Just where my head is, you can just edit out of that position, sell out some of it, close it or anything like that. So you have full control and uh, editing capability of all trades at all times. You're just copying opens and closes of those traders. 
You can also go, if you see the copy trading, we'll just go over to the main menu here. Uh, you can go over to this arrow and you can see all of your details. So if you go down to trade history and positions, they'll all be here for you to see. No current positions for me but you can see all of the details here and there's an action tab on the right hand side. If you want to get out of a trade, if you want to edit, uh, take profits in a trade, make a trade smaller, that's where you can do it all. What I would personally put into copy trading is assets from my trading account. So investment account taking up 90, 95% plus of assets, that's siphoned off and that's just not trading, that's just buy and hold and DCA. Uh, but for spot trading, I would consider this the trading portion of my portfolio. So a very small percentage of the overall, maybe a few percent here that you're using to day trade and you're looking at some traders just as a few percentage points of the portfolio just to give yourself some you know, potential um, performance that you may not otherwise get. Um, obviously with trading, as well you may want to actually copy a few traders rather than just one again just getting exposure to different types of strategies and traders but again me personally would only use this for the trading portion of my portfolio which is very very small as a percentage term but everyone is able to make their own choice there check the other helpful bitget videos down in the description and the link down there with the deposit bonus as well i'm james with money zg cheers for watching and i'll see you in the next one